Welcome to Dog Paw Blog. This video I'm going to show you how I hacked a grooming tub so my back wouldn't hurt grooming four dogs. Um, so just to kind of give you some idea, I'm in the basement bathroom and it's just a shower tub combo. Now before I got the standing utility tub, which I'll go over in a minute, I had to just bathe all four dogs bent over, hunched over, and it was destroying my back. It hurt my back so much. So um, thanks to Winnie the Zoo 2, I found, ordered a utility tub. It's not hooked up to anything, so there's no faucet hole or anything, and it just has a hole to drain the water out the bottom. Now this is okay, except I still have very short dogs. So I would end up having to still hunch over, and by the end of four baths, you know, my back was really sore. So I was trying to figure out how I could prop them up in the tub a little bit higher so I wouldn't have to bend over at such an odd angle. So I'm going to show you the things I tried first that did not work <laughs> and then I'll break down what this contraption is here. So this is the first thing I tried. I ordered um, four bed razors off of Amazon. So how it works is you put these on the bottom of your bed and it props your bed up so you can store stuff underneath. Um, so I thought it would work great for the tub itself, the legs and the tub. The problem is these are so wide, um, they didn't fit with the tub on top inside the bottom of the ceramic bathtub underneath. It didn't fit. So that didn't work. So the next thing I tried, and you can actually see this in the grooming, I think, second grooming Shih Tzu video, that I tried to prop up a 10 gallon tank lid, that's all that is, just a 10 gallon tank lid, lid and try to prop them up in the sink with that. And of course there's problems with this because it's not secure, it's not steady. If they moved, it would fumble. Um, the water and the shampoo made these really slippery so they would slide around. So this just wasn't a good option because it wasn't safe. I'm going to walk you through what I did with this tub and it works wonderfully. So I have the standard utility tub. This is from Ace Hardware. And this shelf here is from um, the Target Sterilite um, closet unit that I actually used for her, coat for her. Uh, the Coco's Closet video. Um, so this was just an extra shelf I didn't need. Worked out perfectly that it overlapped the edge of the tub so it fit really well. Now how I secured it, I took a drill and drilled, there's dog hair of course, um, a, a hole through the top and bottom through the lip of the tub too. So there's just, you drill through the top, you drill through the bottom, and you drill through the edge here of the tub. And I did that on all four sides, so this fit perfectly and securely on to the tub. Then I just took zip ties and threaded it through and tightened it so that it fit um, securely. It's not permanent, so if I ever have to move this, I can just cut the zip ties and um, reattach it. Then, so that the water would still drain, I drilled holes in the top of the shelf so that the water and shampoo could still drain down into the tub. Then, finally, just to make this safe for the dogs to stand on, I just took one of those uh, drawer liners, those, um, they're kind of made out of this rubbery material, and measured it out and cut it, and then perfectly it fits, um, the holes in this fit through the zip tie so it stays in place, so it doesn't, doesn't slip and move um, around. So this gives them some traction to stand on, it's something comfortable to stand on, but the holes in this let the water drain through, and then the holes in this let the water drain through. You can, of course, improvise and use your own items, but this is just what's been working really well. The dogs sit completely up out of the tub, and I don't have to bend over, and I can bathe all four of them in one day. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, if I didn't make anything clear, then um, just ask me down below. Again, you know, I already had the tub, and you just drill a hole into a shelf that can support your pet's weight, drill a hole through it, and then attach it with zip ties, or you can even use screws. Um, I would just be worried about having to use screws and then them rusting so you can't get them off if you ever have to take the tub apart, and then some kind of um, non-slip surface for your dog. So that is my tub hack for grooming. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And take care. Bye.